Hey you guys, I'm Skylar Reed and welcome to Skylar's Music Studio. This is the second installment of my Skylar's Tip Tuesdays voice lessons and I'm super excited to help you on your musical journey. Um, this video is going to build from the last. We're going to touch on our breathing, our stretching and balancing, our range, um, ear training, different things that we talked about, but it's levels to it. So we're gonna build and keep adding. I'm gonna throw some new warm-ups into the mix. Your voice is like a muscle. The more you do it, the more you practice these warm-ups, the easier it's gonna get and the better and stronger your voice is gonna get. So let's get into it. Guys. All right, guys, so we wanna get into stretching and balancing. Um, start from your ankles, your feet and everything, um, and work your way up your body. Um, you wanna make sure your tent's free. You do not want to be tense when you're performing. It really will come across in your breath, um, especially if you're standing improperly. Um, so just make sure that you're like relaxed and you're good. Um, how to stand when you're standing. Think of your foot as a triangle. And basically you want to just put pressure on all parts of your foot. So feel that pressure on your tippy toes, feel that pressure on the outsides of your foot, Feel that pressure on your heel, on the insides of your foot. And you wanna feel balanced on all points of your foot. You do not want to be singing and leaning to the right or leaning to the left. Um, when you do that and you stay there for a minute, you're going to feel the tension. You're gonna feel some pressure. And you might get lightheaded, you might faint. I almost fainted once before singing, but that's another story. Um, you wanna make sure you're balanced and you're good. So there you go. The first thing that I love to do before starting singing lessons with my students is making sure they tap into their diaphragm. And that's after, of course, they stretch and balance their body. With breathing, in the last video we did maybe four counts. We're gonna build on that. We're gonna do six counts and then eight counts. Um, and we're going to breathe in, hold our breath, and then do snake pulses. The snake pulses is a great um, exercise to make sure you really feel, you'll be able to feel it. You'll be able to feel that pulsing of your diaphragm kind of go like this. I'm going to breathe in for six, hold a breath for six, and then snake pulses, and then we're going to do eight. Okay, so breathe in with me. Ready and breathe. Hold your breath. Snake pulses. Exhale. So now we're gonna do eight counts, same thing. And this does get harder. The goal is to get to like 20, 25, maybe 30. So it does get a little challenging, um, but we start off small and we keep building because it really is just training your diaphragm to contain that air. Cause that's what we do when we sing. We're breathing in and we're trying to use that air to get through a phrase. We have to use our diaphragm to support those notes. So this is why it's really important to make sure you tap into it. All right, let's do eight counts. We're gonna breathe in. Ready, set. Hold your breath. Snake balls. Exhale it out. Um, just take a look at how I am sitting. So this goes back to a little bit to posture. If you're sitting down, which is totally fine uh, for warmups, um, you wanna make sure you're sitting straight. You don't wanna slouch. You don't want to be sitting some kind of weird way. You want to be sitting up right um, with your back straight, chest out, chin up. This is how you sing. If you've ever been in a choir setting, this is how you would sing. So if you're sitting down right now, Say properly. So let's breathe in through the nose again. We're gonna tap into um, that diaphragm and really make sure we engage with it. So let's breathe in through our nose. Exhale. So when you do that, there's really only one place it goes. Go straight to your diaphragm when you breathe in through your nose. So that's a really great way to do it. So let's warm up our face and our voice a little bit. We're going to do the lip choclasando 
this is a warm up you can do right before you sing, right before you perform. It's something really slight that I always do behind stage um, to just make sure my voice is like good. Um, so I go low to high, high to low. Okay, let's do it one more time. Alright, so we're going to find the range. Um, the range, like I explained before, is really important for you to know what works for you. Um, you want to choose songs that are in your range. Um, if you're an alto, choose alto songs. If you're soprano, choose soprano songs. Tenor, bass, same thing. You want to find it, make sure you're in it. We're going to start at middle C, which is C4, and we're going to work our way down. Uh, you guys find your range make sure you find whatever note is lowest and highest so we're going to do a little bit of ear training um remember the ear training is really important because you want to be able to sing along to a track um sing along in a band or be able to do acapella if you ever audition for the voice or american idol um you don't have a track or anything you have to sing acapella and you want to make sure you know where that is like whatever key you're in you want to make sure you stay there and know if you're going sharp or flat so I'm gonna play some single notes and then I'm gonna play um, some melodies and just follow along. If you don't get it the first time, it's okay. Just rewind, repeat, and just keep practicing it. So here we go. from the last video this is what i do in all of my lessons i like to build but before we build we have to make sure that we know what we set down first we're going to do the three note scale i'm going to sing it on e <laughs> So um, what we're going to do, we're going to do that, but I'm also going to introduce solfege to you. Solfege is what I use and what a lot of teachers use um, for ear training and sight reading. So we're going to start around A3 and um, work away probably an octave and do the five note scale. And um, before while we do it, I want you to sing ah, and then I'm going to show you the signs. Okay, so we're going to go numbers one two three four five four three two one do re mi fa sol fa mi re do um so you're gonna start here <laughs> 
Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. So we're gonna continue on on solfege this time. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. that held note uh, warm-up that we did last time on eight counts. I'm just singing on ooh. warm-up I want to share with you guys is arpeggios. Super simple, um, just thirds. And uh, what I like about this, this is a great warm-up to um, stretch your voice just a little bit. You could go beyond that, but uh, we're just going to go one, three, five, three, one. So we're going to stay within that five um, note range um, and just do third. Really try to use that diaphragm to help support your tone. Um, tone is pretty much the color of your, your the sound that, that your voice makes. So you want it to sound cohesive. You want it to flow. Um, so yeah, let's try it. And sing on who? Please like the video, please share, um, and of course subscribe. You can follow my studio page at Skyler's Music Studio um, on Instagram, and all of my social media as an artist is at I am Skylar Reed. And if you want voice lessons, online voice lessons, or if you're in the Atlanta area and want in-person voice lessons, hit me up, skylarsmusicstudio.com. I work with kids, teenagers, and adults, and artists. So I'll be happy to help you guys, so yeah. Take care. We